Greetings Earthlings, welcome to Planet Nailing here on YouTube. Woo woo! I don't know. I'm weird. Let's deal with it, okay? Now, so hello, I am Weird Little Alien, Noel, um, Archie Bitty OTP, whatever you choose to call me, you know, good or bad. That's up to you. Um, you know, can't really do anything about it. Everyone has their own opinions and shit, so you gotta just keep on going along. But anyways, if you guys want to learn a very simple makeup look that takes literally no time and still makes you look bomb as fuck and all that, then stick around and watch this video. Okay, so... Let's get started into this video. So, as you can tell, like I just said, from the makeup routine for me. Um, so, for me, during the summer especially, I don't like to wear foundation. I don't. I don't like to wear it. I sweat a lot. I sweat in all the wrong places. My makeup looks fucking disgusting. I have big pores, so it looks even grosser. I don't like it. So, I don't like to wear foundation in the summer. Um, I don't really like to wear foundation to begin with. Honestly, when I do wear foundation... It's concealer under my eyes, and that's about it, you know? That's my definition of F foundation. That's literally what I do. I don't remember the last time I fully wore foundation. I don't really, honestly. I think it was, like, like last year in college, I think, when, like, Maddie did my makeup. I think that was, like, the last time I wore foundation. But, yeah, so even in, like, winter and spring and fall and all that, I usually just do concealer as my foundation, you know? Um, but lately... I've, especially since my face has been doing good, but even before then, it's like lately I haven't been caring about my face because it's like, even if my face looks gross, you know, I'm not putting makeup to cover it up because you know what? I don't give a shit what people think, you know, if my face has a blemish or if it has a scar on it, I don't give a fuck because I'm comfortable in what I'm wearing. I feel good. I look good to myself and that's all that fucking matters. So basically I started doing this routine, um, over the summer, basically, and I just recently started getting into my eyes because before it would just be mascara, but now I have something to do with my eyes that's very simple and easy and also makes you look a lot better, too. So if you want to see a simple routine where you don't have to use a lot of makeup, you can use stuff you already have, it's simple and easy, it's quick, you don't have to worry about going throughout the day and feeling like all this makeup is on your face or worry about sweating or worry about fixing your makeup or any of that, this is the routine for you because I live by this routine. I love this routine. Even come winter, fall, spring, I'm going to be using this. I don't know when I'll go back to concealer. We'll see. Maybe during the winter time, I'll start wearing concealer again. But until then, I don't. This is literally what I've been doing for months now. Since I would say since the end of May, since I got home, basically, this is what I've been doing. Because when I was in college, I did like to, you know, put a little concealer on because cute boys and all that, you know, and you want to look a little nice. And also, you know, it was, I also went out and, you know, I wanted to look cute with my outfits and all that stuff. So I basically recently started doing this like at in the middle of May, not the end, because I got out of school in the middle. So in the middle of May, I started doing this. So I live by it, have not stopped doing it. I will continue to do it. Come winter, continue to do it. Maybe I'll do concealer sometimes. Probably not. We'll see. It's depending. Um, it just really depends on where I'm going, I guess. But when it comes down to it, foundation, it's... I mean, I'm not against it, and I'm not saying I'm never going to do it again, but I'm definitely not in a rush to get back into foundation. So, basically, what I like to do first, I should have fucking, fucking, freaky, so basically what I'm going to do first is I'm going to use the Airspun powder. I have a lot of translucent powders, but this one I don't use as often, like when I'm doing my makeup. So, excuse me. This one I don't use as often when I'm doing my makeup, so when I started doing this whole process, I decided, let me use this because I want to use this. It's really good. You know, I really like it. And I was like, you know what, I have all those other powders, but I was like, this looks really good by itself. I don't have to worry about it looking bad if I sweat. And it's just a really good powder for a nice price. It's not like super expensive or any of that. And honestly, yeah, some of my powders are a little expensive, so I prefer to save them for like more of a you know, special day, I guess, more of like a full-on face day, like concealer, not really 
full on face, I guess. But what I'm first going to do is take some powder. You can take any translucent powder you want, any powder, you know, to set your face. Or, yeah, I guess to set your face. This is the translucent extra coverage air spun loose face powder. So I just take this brush. It's just a nice little pink brush. Oh, I should tell you this. Um, I already filmed this video, like, five days ago. And I did it on my camera because I wanted the best quality. <laughs> my mistake. My fucking mistake. Um, because literally made it and then spent about three and a half days trying to upload the videos to my computer, then trying to uh, get the videos into my uh editing thing, which then kept freezing, so I couldn't use that, so then I had to use another thing and have to pay $9 so I didn't get a watermark and all this stinking shit, and it's just like, and then that took, oh, it'll take a few minutes, uh, four hours later, still wasn't rendering, so I retried, again, still wasn't rendering, so needless to say, I stopped because I made it long ago, I made it before the Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star trailer came out, like, three days before that, so just imagine, okay, and I mean, ugh, I got so frustrated, I was so, frustrated. so I'm redoing it, I got my ring light, so I have better quality, I hope this is good, I'm sorry, I cannot use my Canon, <sighs> you don't know, like, oh, you don't know what I went through, it, I, no, okay, anyways, let's get into this, so what I like to do is take the powder on the brush, like I just did, and just put it all over your face, And just like wherever you want. There. So you just put it all over your face. Hello. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Noel Star. Oh wait. Hi. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Nelly Star. No. Um, let's get into this. One thing about the air spot, it gets everywhere and it's all over my floor. Now, so I did the powder. So next, what I'm going to do, I don't do anything to my eyebrows because first off, I don't really know how to do eyebrows. Second off, the one thing I got for my eyebrows was too dark. So I was like, you know what, fuck this. So, and I already got pretty good eyebrows, at least I think so. Um, so instead, I just got some gel. I got the e.l.f. gel, just clear. I didn't need any like special color to it. Because I just wanted to find them. It's not so much doing them. Wait, let me see if I can. Let me see. I like to just go over the product with my finger after I define them. So, you can use any clear gel, honestly. And you can, like, shape them however you want. You know, you can go up with the hair, and then you can fix it to go this way. Just do whatever fits you, whatever you choose to do, whatever you think looks good for you, you know. Simple and easy, right there. And, I mean, you can see little a little bit of a difference. It kind of gives you, like, more of a distinct look, I feel like. Like, it kind of adds color without adding color. Maybe that's just me, but I don't know. I feel like it does a little. So, that's the second step. First was powder, then the e.l.f. clear uh, gel. Like I said, use any one you want. Good to go. Now, like, next, what I like to do is I like to, I am going to do, honestly, I like to do my um, mascara first before I do the eyes because I can't seem to do my mascara without some issues, literally. This eye I can do fine, but when it comes to this one, the mascara decides, fuck you, I'm gonna go all over your face. So, you know, it's kind of hard, because like, then I have to wait for this to dry to do my eyeshadow, when I could just do it, and then do the mascara. So, we're gonna do the eyeshadow first, and pray to God that it doesn't, then pray to God that when I do the mascara, it doesn't get everywhere, because, please. <laughs> Help me. Um, but I am using my favorite um, highlighter palette. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dream Glow Kit. I love it so fucking much. Um, it, it's been through the ringer, I'd say. Yeah. yeah. 
broke on me and stuff. That's okay. I still use it. So um, what I like to do, what I've been doing lately, is mixing some colors. So today I'm going to do a purple and a pink lid. I just take it on my finger, dude. And just go over. Sorry, I have to see the mirror too because it's hard. There we go. Oh, honey. I love this eyeshadow palette so fucking much. Okay. So that's what I like to do for the lid. So I'm going to do it to the second lid. I'm taking ethereal. Ethereal. Wait. Eth ethereal. Ethereal. Oh, fuck. I don't know how you say it. Until after I'm done filming the video and then suddenly I can say it. And unicorn. Oh my god, that's so fitting to me. I love you, unicorn. I'm really hoping no one can hear me outside my window. Because it's wide open and my next door neighbor tends to sit outside smoking. So, how embarrassing. So I like to do that. Obviously, you can do it quicker, but I'm not in a rush right now, so I'm just doing my time. So now, I'm going to, since I got the eyelid, I'm going to do under the brow bone. And what I like to do with the brow bone is I like to take the gold color that's broken right there. But first, I like to tissue, tissue, tissue it out. Okay, so I'm going to take some. So I'm going to take some of the gold. Look at that. Oh, girl. Honey. I'm just going to do this. Sorry, I got to use the mirror real quick. And honestly, you can put on as much as you want. You can... Sometimes I'll do the same color on my lid and on under my eyebrow. My eyebrow. Sometimes I'll do the same color on my lid and under my uh, eyebrow bone. Other times I'll just put like one color of the gold under my eyebrow and nothing on the lid. But lately I've been putting stuff on the lid as well. So let's get on this side. Sorry guys, I just, I gotta have the mirror. See, and you don't need to use anything. So you don't have to worry about dirtying a brush and then cleaning it. Because it's really fucking hard to get like, highlighter out of stuff. Because, like, it gets everywhere. It's so very, like, wait, can you see my fingers? See, like, it's on my fingers. So, <laughs> so that is the eyes. Gosh, I hate this. You can't even see. So, oh, man, this is, it's not giving me the quality I want. But you know what? It's an easy step to do, so... Okay, so um, I like to use this first. This is like a go-to for me. I like to use this one first. Um, I have a little Better Than Sex mascara that I've been using constantly with this one, but I decided that I wanted to finally buy a big size one because I use it all the time and I love it. And it just so happened they came out with a limited edition one, and it's a Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, and it's this one. It has like, let me see if I can... See, it has like nice rhinestones. I mean, this alone is gorgeous. Like when this runs out, I'm keeping this. I don't care. Hoard it or not, I'm keeping it. But this packaging, I'm not like a packaging person. Like I don't, like, uh, well, like not, not true. But like the box it comes in, it's not like a big deal. But like the palette, like the look itself, like this, I love the look of um, Jeffree Star's Alien palette. I love the look of it. It's an alien head. His blue blood. It's a fucking coffin. Like, that, I love packaging. Like, I love unique packaging for eyeshadow or for sprays or anything. Like, the pink Jeffree Star spray. Like, yeah, black's cool too, but I mean, pink, even cuter. Love it. Um, yeah, so, I'm first going to take this. I've used this once and I do like it, but I want to use it with this too because I just feel like this alone, I don't know. I just feel like it... Okay. Okay. That's what's going on right now. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to do the mascara. Mascara. Damn, I need a fucking mirror for this. Okay, I'm going to have to use this mirror because this is really fucking hard to do without a mirror. I 
I really, I'm the type, I definitely love doing two different mascaras. I mean, yeah, I love a mascara that can do it all in one job, but for me, I'm just a two mascara kind of girl. Because, like, there's, I use this mascara, and it's, like, <clears throat> clumpy, but it gets my lashes out. The only downside is it's clumpy, you know? But that's why I use another one, the Better Than Sex, because its spoolie is a lot different, so it clumps it, it unclumps it, and also gives it more length. And it's just, like, the perfect combo for me, personally. So, that's the first layer, as you can see. Now, on to the second of the Better Than Sexy. It's like a different spoolie. Oh, I love mascara. Literally, there's a shirt. I mean, I think we've all seen it. It's been around for years. But it's all I need is mascara and coffee. And literally, nothing has spoke to me more. Because it's so true. Well, also chapstick. I need chapstick. Like, it, what's one thing you guys cannot live without? Me, personally, I have to have chapstick. And hand sanitizer is right behind chapstick. Because I'm like a germaphobe. I just kind of am. But, um, I have to have chapstick. Like, I literally use chapstick every day, multiple times a day. You know? Which, I'm sure, makes them happy. Because, I mean, there is that conspiracy that they put those little fiber glasses like that, there's a conspiracy that they put fiberglass in the chapstick so that if, every time you use it, it's cutting up your lip, making you have to use it more and more and more and more, which means you continue to buy it and give them money, which is what they want. So I 100% believe that because, bitch, I need my chapstick. When I don't have chapstick, it's like, oh, my lips. And honestly, it is true, because even sometimes when I'm using chapstick, I'll still get, like, cuts on my lips. And it's like, but I'm using chapstick. Why am I getting a cup, a cut in the middle of my lip, you know? Just saying, conspiracies. Also, another conspiracy I really want to talk about real quick. Because I just read about it, and it, I never thought about it, because I didn't think anything. But there's... Uh, I just read about how a lot of iPhone users are noticing that their iPhone will vibrate while it's in their pocket or in their purse or on the table. It'll vibrate and they'll go to check it, but there's nothing there. You know, there's no notification, nothing. And the whole thing is, is that it's a way to make people get on their phones more, check their phones more, you know, be more active on their phones. That's why it's vibrating so that people look at their phone and then they get on their phone for however long. And I read that and I was like, yeah, you know, that's, I mean, I can see that, you know, because in the past my phone has vibrated and I went to check it and I'm like, there's nothing here. Like, what the fuck? But I've never thought much of it. I was just like, okay, maybe because sometimes I would think I have to be hallucinating this. There's no way it's vibrating. I'm clearly I'm hearing things, you know, but reading this. I started thinking, you know, I read this and I was like, oh yeah, that's true. But it was only iPhone users they were talking about. So I didn't put that my phone was in that category. Well, yesterday, my phone, I, I kid you fucking not, my phone kept fucking vibrating. I swear to God. I want to check it though, because I kept remembering that article and I was like, I'm not doing what you guys want me to do. But literally, it kept vibrating. It was right here on this table and I kept hearing, mm, mm, mm. And I was like, I'm not checking it, I'm not checking it. Finally, I went to check it because I just wanted to see, and also I wanted to hold it to see if maybe it would vibrate in my hand. It didn't. So then I just put it back down, and I was like, okay, whatever, you know? And it didn't vibrate for a while, and then it went, eh, eh. And it's just that little vibration, you know? Because on the table, I can feel it, little vibration. And I'm just like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, first off, how do you know? Like, I understand this could be a, like, uh, if this is a conspiracy theory or a fact or whatever, but like, I understand, oh yeah, you check your phone and then it's like, well, let me just also like get on Instagram and see what's going on there and all this stuff. But also a lot of people just look at their phone and they're like, oh, no notification, turn off, you know? So like, it's kind of stupid, but also like maybe even just ch checking their phone is somehow giving these people what they want, whether it be Apple or Android or whatever, because literally phones are vibrating. Okay. Like, my phone vibrated a lot. And it was going on before I read this article. It's not like I started hearing it after the article. It's just I never thought much into it because it, it vibrates. What is it doing? You know? Well, now we know. 
trying to get people to get on the internet more. You realize how little privacy we all have in the world. Like truly, as I'm filming this video, I just think about who could be watching me film this video, honestly. You know what's so amazing to me is that the government... Let me do my eyebrow, my eyelashes first because I feel like if I don't, they're going to dry and look horrible. But... Ooh, wait, I want to... Okay. You know what's so fucking crazy to me is the government, you know, wants to record all our conversations and wants to listen in on us and all this stuff, you know, for the safety of the world and all this stuff. And it's like, but yet you can't seem to stop fucking terrorist attack or bombings or any shit like that. But yet you'll spy on some people who are making a video or spy on people who are fucking talking about going out and getting drunk, whatever, you know, you're literally recording and listening and probably watching everything people do because hello security cameras you think the government can't get into those they can see you walking in and out of a store like it's not hard like if you were being followed by the government you would have nowhere to hide that's why they have safe houses but um what i'm saying is is that oh my god wait hold on What I'm saying is that I just find it really stupid that literally, it, when I use the voice, like when I'm texting and I don't feel like texting it out, I'll use my microphone and this, it doesn't always say this, but sometimes it will say, everything you say is being uh, archived and sent to your email and all this stuff. Never get it sent to my email, that's a fucking lie. And second off, why do you need to record my text messages? Like, why is that something you need? Like, really? Oh, I'm talking about helping my brother renew his ID? That's something you need to record? Like, why do you need to archive my messages? Unless, like, there's reasoning for, you know, having to watch me or having to keep up with my conversations or anyone else's, why are you constantly, like, listening in and all this shit? Like, I just, I'm not someone who trusts the government easily. I'm sorry, I just don't. I don't care if people think I'm crazy, you know, I'm a crazy conspiracy theorist, whatever. You could call me Murray from fucking um, Stranger Things if you want, because I totally would be his character. I'm going to be realistic. I would be. And I would sit there as they're all leaving and be like, yeah, I told you. Bye. Bye. Told you. Bye. Not so crazy now, bitch. Um, but yeah, the government, it just amazes me that they literally listen in on any, everything, watch everything, I'm sure, you know, I mean, could hack into your computer, who knows what the fuck they do, but needless to say, it doesn't seem to be helping because we still have terrorist attacks and bombings, and I know there's not, there's not always things you can do, you know, there's not always signs that that's about to happen, but sometimes there is, like, you know, kids posting on their Twitter or on their Facebook about shooting up a school, and then they do it, like, a day or two days later, and it's like, wow, where were you when they posted that? Because you could have stopped the shooting, I'm sure. Like, it just boggles my mind that the government's so intent on keeping track of everyone, and yet it's not stopping anything. School shooting after another, and after another, and after another. I mean, Jesus. Sorry, I'm just rambling. But, okay, so I did my mascara. Let me just try and do the mascara. So that is done. Um... Also, I want to talk about is Shane Dawson. Okay, so I have a question for you guys. In Shane Dawson's video when he did the room patrol thing, um, he was he was asked, you know, like people are like, oh, they think you're in the Illuminati now because you stopped making those videos, which I really miss his conspiracy theory videos and his Illuminati videos. I really miss. That's what got me to be a conspiracy theory theorist. I mean, I was already kind of one beforehand, but he really opened my eyes to the world and to like what was like kind of hidden and what was told but not in the way that it should have been you know he just showed me things that I didn't know were hidden from us you know and so when asked he was like no 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 I didn't join the Illumina Illuminati or none of that honestly the truth is um I had some legal troubles with it and 
uh, I had a lot of people telling me, Shane, you need to stop making these types of videos. You need to stop talking about this stuff. It's not good. And my thought was, well, you know what? If the Illuminati is not real, like the government says and like whoever says, if it's not real, the Illuminati, why does it matter that he's talking about it? Because he's just giving his opinions. He's just showing things that he's found and what he thinks about it. It's not facts. He's just showing things to other people just to kind of open their mind and also talk about what he's seeing and what he's like thinking. So if the Illuminati is not real, why does people care that he's talking about the Illuminati, you know? That's right there confirmed to me. I already knew the Illuminati was real, but right there confirmed that they are totally real. I mean, yeah, you could say, oh, it's probably just something else. But to me personally, to have legal trouble and then have people say, you need to stop making these videos, like stop talking about this kind of stuff, to me says that the Illuminati is real and that they don't want it put out there like Shane was doing because... I'm just saying, like, there's no way the Illuminati's Illumini, the, there's no way the Illuminati's not real, but yet they care that Shane Dawson is talking about it. Like, he's not forcing people to believe anything. He's not showing people actual, like, things from the Illuminati, you know? Like, he's not, like, proving it in a way that could be, like, harmful for, to the government or whatever, you know? He's just making a video about it and conspiracy theories and giving his opinions and showing things that he's found while researching and explaining how crazy some of this stuff is, you know, so it's not doing any harm and yet he has to stop doing it. But the Illuminati's not real, my ass. The Illuminati is fucking real and that just proved it. So thank you, government. And I don't care. I'll talk about the Illuminati. Ugh. I'll talk about the Illuminati all I fucking want because then if I end up dead, well, the government did it. Oh my god, imagine I end up dead. Oh my god, imagine, like, the government, like, kills me because I talk about the Illuminati, and then they erase all my videos so that no one can ever know that the government did it because I talked about the government doing it, unless you remember that I talked about it. I don't know. It's just, literally, if the government killed you, they could, like, erase you. Truly erase you. Like, everything. That's scary. I just don't like it. I know, I'm getting all conspiracy theory, but you know what? This is the world we live in. Okay, next I'm going to do, these. Is, this is my final step. So, um, it depends on the day what I want to do to my lips. Sometimes I'll do a clear gloss and then maybe put some highlighter on it to give it some shine. Other days I'll do a color. Other days I'll do the red. I really like to do the red a lot because it's just a nice bright color and I love red. And I love this... Um, Lipstick, it's just the best one. It's the only one I use of red, basically. And it's the Fenty Beauty Uncensored. Like my sex laugh. No. You'd have to have one to... No, I'm just joking. But, okay, so we're gonna put this on. It's like a lip paint. I love it. Oh my god, can we please just talk about, okay, first, so lip, I, this is a trick I learned, put your, and it gets all the excess off so it doesn't go on your teeth, okay, yeah, oh, can we just talk about, um, David Dobrik's new video where, uh, the homeless man, was given Chipotle for free for a life, or for life, uh, where the homeless man was given Chipotle for, for free for a year, and also given a car. Oh my god, this, I, as much as I love David Dobrik's videos of him giving cars to his friends and family and all that stuff and doing nice things, nothing beats this video. I mean, it touched my heart in such a fucking way. I mean, this guy, man, he's been on the streets, he's struggled, and he still seems like a really happy, good guy. And just to see, like, David do this for him just really touched my heart. Like, it was just so amazing, because, like, I felt for this dude. I really did. And it's like he was doing it, you know, to get something out of it. Sorry, that's my notification. What the fuck is that? Um, it's not like this homeless guy was like, oh yeah, I'm a fan and all this stuff and telling his story to get something out of it. It's like, this was his story and he really was a fan and he 
just so happened to see them and stuff and get to meet them, not expecting all this. And it literally was the best thing ever to me because like, oh my God, it touched my heart so much. Like that's the kind of video I want to see, giving back to those kind of people, homeless people, you know, oh, like that just was so amazing. Like literally it was just the most amazing thing ever. Like, oh God, I love that video. If I had money like that, I would do the same, dude. I would just love to do that. But what sucks is that a lot of people have this thought in their head when they see homeless people. They think, oh, if I give them money, they're just going to spend it on drugs or alcohol. And so I'm not going to give them money. And it's like, that sucks because so many of them aren't like that. And yet they're, you know, struggling and they're People don't want to give them money because they're like, oh, you're just going to spend it on alcohol. Or people want to be like, ew, you're fucking disgusting, you know, on our streets. And it's like, well, you know what? I'm sorry that they're homeless. I'm sorry that this is the life they live. I'm sure they're not choosing this life. I'm sure they'd like to get back on their feet. I'm sure they'd like to have a bed to sleep in. But unfortunately, we don't seem to care enough because we don't have enough housing for all these homeless people, which really fucking sucks. <sighs> I just think about all these people who have all this money and spend it on such frivolous things. And I know it's their money and I know they can do whatever they want with it. But when you got millionaires and billionaires having all this money, more than anyone could do anything with, how hard would it be to just open up another house for homeless people, another shelter for the homeless people, to get them back on their feet, have someone come in and maybe help them for the job fair, you know? Like, do something to help the homeless problem in our state, you know, in the city or wherever you're living, you know, how hard is that to try and make a difference in that kind of way? Yeah, giving to charity is great and all, but sometimes doing this would be even better because it gets them off the streets. It gets them help. It gets them a life, you know? You know, it's really hard being out there, especially for girls. Like, I've watched videos of girls, what they have to go through when they're homeless and when they're on their period and stuff. And I couldn't imagine, you know, I couldn't imagine being on the streets, period. But being a girl and going through your period on the streets, and I just could not imagine. And then uh, it just, it's really sad to me. And I just think my dream has always been if I ever got a lot of money, first off, I would love to move upstate and open an animal sanctuary, rescue all the use uh all rescue all the animals that are about to be put to death because they don't deserve that and I want to save them. And of course, I want to just rescue, you know, uh any animal whether it be, you know, uh, any animal regarding any animal. But like I want to rescue those animals no one wants, those animals that are going to be put to get death, those animals that have special needs, you know, I want to rescue them and of course have them get adopted and stuff, you know. Uh, so that is like a huge dream of mine and just live there and just take care of these animals. That's like kind of my dream. But one of my main dreams that I've always had is that if I ever got a lot of money, I would love to, since I live in New York, I would love to buy a building and turn it into a homeless shelter that the, of course, homeless people could come and stay in and maybe uh, definitely have like, of course, their food, you know, and maybe have someone come, definitely have someone come in and talk to them about a job fair and, you know, give them tips on how you can get your life back together and maybe get people to donate suits and clothes. And, you know, that's like always been like a main thing for me. Like, I really want to do that. I've always thought about just opening another shelter in the city for the homeless people that are still out on the streets because there are a lot of them and we don't have the room right now. And I'd rather them be somewhere safe than on the streets, you know, like, and I, it's not, I'm not, and I know it's not always safe in shelters, but I personally would make sure my shelter is safe, you know, and I know you can't promise things that are not right now, you know, that's in the future if it ever happens, but my shelter would be my baby, you know? So that's always something that's been in my mind. I've always thought about it. I guess living here is just always something that's been on my mind. Um, okay, last step. So I did my lips. Now what I like to do for my final step is I'll take some um, highlighter and I'll just put it right here. Whatever color you want is honestly what you can use. See? Ooh. 
simple and easy. Like, look at that. Let me see. I wonder if I can change the light so you can see. Well, you can kind of see the sparkle there. Sorry, it's not the best quality, and this freaking ring light is not doing me any justice. But, wait, let me turn. So that is the finished look. And there you go. That is what I do. That is my makeup routine, basically, every time I do my makeup. Um, the only thing that really changes is, you know, what lip I'm going to do that day. Or, yeah, that's basically it, you know. If I'm going to do a different lip, if I'm going to do just my whole eye, or if I'm going to do just my under my eyebrow bone, or if I'm going to do two different shades, whatever it may be, this is literally what I do when I do my makeup. Simple as that. It's what I do. There's nothing else I do at all. So, one last time to show you the products. So for mascara, I used the Scandal Eyes Retro Glam by Rimmel London. I used the Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced. Um, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Highlighter Palette for here and my eyes, like I said. For my face powder, I used the Airspun. For my eye gel, like I said, the e.l.f. And for my lipstick, the Uncensored by Fenty um, Beauty. and that's it. Literally, that is what I use. That is it. Um, you can literally use any kind of products. It doesn't have to be these these products. It could be any name brand or uh, what's it called? Uh, drugstore product. Any. Like, it does not matter. Whatever you like, whatever you want to go with, you go with. But literally, simple look. For summer, for winter, whenever, or if you just don't feel like fully doing your makeup, but you also don't want to look like a fetus or don't want to look gross, then this. You know, even if you just did mascara and lips and maybe like some highlighter, even that looks good. Like, really. But I just like to add a little something to my eyes just to kind of give it something. So, you know, this is the look. And... I'm happy with it. I don't know how beauty gurus do it. I'm sorry this quality is not the best. I really tried, guys. I really, really tried. I did. But it just wasn't doing it for me. It really wasn't. I'm sorry. <sighs> I'm really sorry. I am. Because I really want to get more into this, but I'm sorry. And also, sorry, this was like a really talkative video. It's just, I had a lot to say. So I wanted to talk about it with you guys. And I hope you guys watched to the end. And I hope you guys like this. And yeah, so... Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I am going to go, oh, also, wait, hold on, also forgot to tell you, only need to use one brush, just for your powder, any brush for your powder will do, this is the one I use, got it on Amazon, good to go, just need one brush, that's it, other things, you can use your fingers, unless you don't want to, well, this is what I want to say real quick, because, a little Riverdale thing, but, um, Woman Health Magazine, never read it, Never bought one, never planned to read them, never planned to be, uh, buy one, but I happened to be in Shop and Stop yesterday, and I happened, you know, I can't help but look at magazines, okay? And I happened to see someone on the cover of Women's Health that I was like, oh, I definitely need this fucking magazine, and, well, here she is, Camila fucking Mendez, man. Literally, wait, I, I literally bought this because she's on the cover. How much... It was $5. Like, when I saw that, I was like, are you fucking kidding me? I thought it said $3.99. And then I, when the girl rang it up, and it was like, oh, $5. And I was like, okay. Like, uh. But, like, I need it. Like, it's cammy. I'm sorry, but, like, I just love her. Like, out of the whole cast, Camila Mendez is my favorite. And KJ. I love KJ. But, like, Camila Mendez, I love her so much. <laughs> love her. So, yeah, just want to say, like, literally... My life is buying a fucking magazine because of who's on the cover. This has been a habit for me. So, yeah. Anyways, oh my god. Yeah, I don't want it to get ruined. Anyways, yeah. So, that is it for my video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you guys would like me to do more videos like this or different videos like this or whatever kind of videos you'd like to see, let me know down below. And yes, I hope you enjoyed. Um... And also check out my Instagram because I've been posting a lot on there. 
I like to take pictures of like of like nature and creatures and stuff and I don't know. I just really like taking pictures of outside world. Sorry. So if you want to check out my Instagram and yeah, I'm going to go. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. I hope you guys watched the end. If not, that's okay too. But yeah, just let me know if you want to see more of this, if you want to see something different or what. And yeah. Okay. Going to go finally, literally after saying it five fucking times. Okay. <laughs>